The 17th of September, 2020. A fairly normal day, all things considered. PS5 details were shown the day before, and the Nintendo Direct revealed two Monster Hunter games on that day. However, things were heating up with Sonic, specifically the social platforms. After having not had any news on games, anniversary events, anything of the sort that was Sonic related until like a couple weeks ago, the Twitter side was just constantly boiling over, like a cesspool of lava that just won't cool down. Something was bound to erupt, and it was going to be very soon. Not too long into the evening of that day, someone found out that once again, the creators of Sonic 2020 were trying to plug their game and products owned by companies through their Patreon account, this time in Russian, though it made another count of the many, many times they'd been told not to do that sort of stuff. On top of that, another Sonic fan game of their itch.io page had been accused of pushing a donation link, causing a number of people to uproar. It led them to argue about the ethics of trying to lock content behind paywalls or using fan games as a means to fund development. Yeah, don't do that. Meanwhile, in a Discord server, we all saw this unfold, and a friend of mine had an idea. He knew how Sonic fans can get over such issues like these, especially in such a weird, silent time that this year has brought us. And he thought it was time to have a laugh. But none of us had no idea it was going to get so big. Hashtag cancel Sonic Twitter. The goal was simple. Create satirical tweets that pushed a meaningless narrative. Nothing more, nothing less. Just harmless fun. And onlookers that could stop and think would be able to clearly see that all of what we'd been posting isn't at all a serious move. So, we got ourselves together and laid out the foundations. A few of us created posts that explicitly included the hashtag. Call it priming the pump, if you will. For a few minutes, nothing happened. Pure silence. But then, the very people who were likely to inflate the hashtag inflated the hashtag. More and more of the vocal sides of Sonic Twitter started piping up. Some were in on the joke. Others were straight up confused. But all of a sudden, it snowballed. Thanks to the fan game noise I'd mentioned earlier, things had just skyrocketed. Within the hour, hundreds had started to jump in on the trend. They were all perpetuating and participating in a social experiment. My friend's point had been proven each and every time. Sonic fans are quick to skip the facts and just make damage. And then as time passed, it only got bigger. Hundreds became thousands. It appeared on the trending tab and grew to worldwide status. People were getting more and more confused, only to start blaming someone else for starting this and stating that they were a transphobe. They did apologize, but you know, damage has been done. Anti-canceling tags were starting to pop up alarmingly as fast as this one. It got to a point where it was so big overnight that the Sonic social pages had to step in and say something. More than 12,000 people as of this video have now either remained confused, still think that one person started it, or are actually in the joke here. But haven't you noticed? A good number of people all thought it was one person because the Sonic community, especially on Twitter, thrives on vocal opinions. A slim number of people in this community only think for themselves and form their own opinions. But the moment someone loud enough says that they dislike some type of game after like a couple years, the sheep just follow. Truly, it is amazing and disturbingly horrifying to witness in such a live space. My moral I'm imparting to you right now is, please think for yourself. You owe it to yourself as a human person and you should be able to make your own judgments on what you like and what you don't like. Don't let vocal fans dictate the way you enjoy content.